Good morning. morning. We welcome you to our worship service here today and welcome those watching on television and worshiping with us there. Let's pray. We thank you, Father, for your word, its meaning for our lives, it, how it quickens our pace in trying to do your will each and every day. Thank you, Father. In Christ's holy name, amen. You know, as we read the names of the people that we were honoring today, I remember some of the things that each one of them did 
in their life in the church. Their place in the church and their place in society as a whole. They knew where they fit in. They knew where they stood. They knew who they were. I think all of us try to do that. You know, high school is somewhat of a, a proving ground, the place where we work out the who, what, and where of life. High school was a hard place for me. I wasn't the athletic type or the brain type, really the anything type. I lived in the shadows and on the fringes, not quite fitting in anywhere. I wasn't the only one, though, that lived in the shadows and on the fringe. There were others. And what I learned in high school was that we needed each other. We needed each other to get through life, to get through the hard times of being picked on and ridiculed. We needed each other's approval. And to know that even though we really didn't fit in, we were still of value. Mary, Martha, and Lazarus were like family to Jesus. They didn't fight over who had the best seat at the party that they had for Jesus. They didn't resent the abilities of the other. They didn't try to outdo each other. They had a common purpose and they worked together in their own way, to achieve it. Martha served, Mary worshipped, Lazarus told the story. Each one had differing abilities and skills, and yet each was of equal value. Now think about it. Their family would not have been complete without all three. I wonder, can the church do without all three today? The Martha type? Each church needs the Martha type? No, I take that back. Each church needs about a hundred <laughs> of the Martha types. Ready to roll up their sleeves, pitch in and do whatever needs to be done. Without them, the church would grind to a halt. They set the pace for the church. Because of the Marthas, the church budget gets balanced. The church babies get bounced. And the church building gets built. We don't think about the Marthas until there are no Marthas around to do the job. Without them, the rest of us find ourselves groping in the dark for the essentials. One author calls them the energizer bunnies of the church. They keep on going and going and going. They don't live off the limelight or the applause. Now That, that, does, that doesn't mean that we don't recognize them. They simply are not addicted to it. 